Today's solid principle is going to be I, or interface segregation. Now, in object-oriented programming, an interface is synonymous with a contract. All this means is if we have an interface and we call this interface file, and this file has a public function parse, just like this. So whenever the file interface has a parse function, then you can think of this as a contract, meaning that any single file or any single class that implements this contract or this file interface is contractually binded to use this parse function or method. It has to have this parse behavior. So notice this red, red squiggly. Class must be declared abstract or implement method parse. So as soon as we add the parse method, voila, that red squiggly goes aligned. That red squiggly goes away. So interface it's just a contract demanding that the class implementing that contract has all of the behavior the contract demands. Segregation equals divide or split up. All this means is if this interface, if this file has a, I don't know, public function HTML content, and this JSON file class obviously doesn't need to use HTML content, then, you know, why is it, why would it need to implement an HTML content function? It doesn't, right? So instead of doing one interface where the JSON file implements that interface and is forced to depend on a method or a function or a piece of behavior that is contractually binded to have HTML content as a method, instead of doing that and just leaving this empty because it's, you know, we're in JSON file, it's not gonna get HTML content. Instead of doing that, we need to segregate or divide into two smaller interfaces. So for example, interface, and then we'll just go HTML, right? And then we can just go HTML, and then we can just do public function HTML content, just like that. So now we have segregated our two interfaces, interface file public function parse, interface HTML public function HTML content. So now, because we have segregated our interfaces, we can remove that function. We can remove HTML content from our JSON file class. Now, the interface segregation principle states that no client, here, I'll actually type this out real quick. No, this is exactly what the interface segregation principle says. No client should be forced to depend on methods it doesn't use. Okay, so interface segregation is defined as this. No client should be forced to depend on methods it does not use. So no client, well in this case, the class is our client. Client equals class should be forced, well, interfaces are contracts that force classes to depend on a given method or group or methods that it does not use. So no client should be forced to depend on methods it does not use. So we could rewrite this and say no class should be forced to implement an interface that contractually binds that class to 
implement a method it never uses or to have a method it never uses method that class never uses so no class should be forced to implement an interface that contractually binds that class to have a method it will never use so that's pretty much all it is on this one guys this one's really simple it's pretty straightforward um, the biggest it's not even a mix up but just the biggest like assumption I see people make um, is that they think that you have to have more than one method in an interface it is absolutely and completely acceptable to have an interface that only demands a class implement a single function um, or a single method so don't be afraid to make small interfaces. If you have a big interface, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, if you have a smaller interfaces or even one function interfaces in a lot of scenarios, then you're probably doing something right. So again, interface segregation, the I in solid, um, all you need to do is make sure that when a class is contractually binded to depend on or have given methods, that it actually needs those methods. If it's forced to have a method it never uses, then segregate or break up the interface into smaller interfaces. So that class only needs to use the interface or only needs to have the methods that it needs. So that's all guys, interface segregation. Um, next time we'll get on to dependency inversion. Simple.